sergeant. Okay. Tech four, tech four okay. in the Mavi. Okay, in great. The Army. But it's so well made. It's so warm. Yeah. <laughs> On a day like this, it'd have to be. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. And I can't imagine how thin he must be because at that time. Sure. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a very nice coat. Okay, that too. That's okay. Okay. Where, where have you all come from then? Wow, long way. Yeah. Over the, in, in about four days' time, we all tried and linked to every single thing. We went down to every paper and every single thing that had been in such as We hope to spread the message of, of this particular exercise to make everyone know about the whole thing. And what we hope is you okay. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. To be understood as to, as to understand. For it is in giving that we receive and in dying that we are born to eternal life. civilians, as those who have reaped the benefit of what was done in the cause of peace by brave people who lived through those months in the 1940s. We stand here on behalf of the American and British soldiers, including members of the Royal Tank Regiment and the LST associations, sailors and civilians. We are gathered here today to remember those who lost their lives in the preparation for what was the most daring of feats during World War II, the D-Day landings. We wish to thank the Plymouth branch of the Royal Tank Regiment Association and the Royal Tank Regiment for organizing this annual here remembrance. Today is, this is important, and I think you need to hear it. Right Honorable Howe, Commander Morris, Mr. Lefebvre, Mr. Millett, Dr. Uh, Mr. Dean Smalls, Dean, amazing. It's Laurie Bolton, and of course, uh, Captain Cowley, Brigadier Frazier, Colonel Deacon, our dear veterans, their families, and our friends. Good afternoon to all. Special welcome to Cyclops Squadron, our partners from Canada. I see you over there as well. Thank you. Our color guard, our pipes and drum corps, and our bugle, bugler as well. Thank you all for being here. First, I'm sorry that Ambassador Johnson could not be here today. 
but you'll have to put up with an old Navy Admiral who really carries an enormous amount of pride for this truly once in a lifetime opportunity to recognize the great sacrifice and bravery that occurred right here in these beautiful beaches 75 years ago. Maybe not so beautiful today because it's raining, but they were here under tough conditions. Can we ever really travel too far or get up too early to remember those heroes who literally risked everything, their lives? I think not. And because all of you are here today in the rain with all of us, I'm sure you agree. Thanks to all of you for coming to this hallowed place today. Thanks to Ambassador Johnson for letting me represent him. I thanked him the other day in the car and I sincerely meant it. Because remembering what happened here today matters, always reminding us that humanity, while never perfect, has the capacity to demonstrate moments that truly inspire during the toughest of times. For this, we extend our sincerest appreciation and ask God to bless our veterans and their families and those who perished during exercise Operation Tiger for committing the future that they never had to all that our nations hold dear today. Thank you. Monsieur le Ministre, Amiral, Messieurs les Officiers Supérieurs, Monsieur le Maire de Sainte-Marie-du-Mont, Moutabitch, Mesdames et Messieurs les Vétérans, Famille de Vétérans, Mesdames et Messieurs. It's an immense honor for me today to be standing before you, veterans, families of veterans, and in front of the monument of Slampton Sands. I am honored and proud to represent my country, friends, and my region. As president of the Department of the Manche in Normandy, I belong to a region deeply affected by the battles of the liberation. Henri Millet, the mayor of Saint Marie du Mont is also beside me today. Claim those men from overseas, not timid, but eager to defend a foreign shore. So young and full of life, with plans for years ahead when the battle was won. But with a terrible surprise, their life was taken in darkness, and for them, there will never be a dawn. The cruel sea snatched their hopes and dreams and they were left resting forever in another land. America, we thank you for your sacrifice, your youth to protect our freedom. We will never forget, although the years pass by, those gallant men who helped to gain our victory until the green fields, my brothers. Lastly, Mr. Mark Lefer, President of the County Council of La Mange, Mr. Henry Miller, Mayor of Saint Marie du Mont, Utah Beach. They shall grow not old, as we are left that grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will, we will remember them. Taps, please. 